can't forget when you go down home when the sun goes low head off the highway to painted western sky walk down a worn path through the back door cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm then you sit down Welcome to Great Chefs of the West, a video symposium of regional cookery offered by chefs from the West and Southwest. From Denver, Colorado, an appetizer by Chef Jimmy Schmidt. From the shores of Lake Tahoe, an entree prepared by Chefs Dennis Karate and Carla Summer. From Santa Fe, New Mexico, a dessert by Chef Mark Miller. And home-based cooking from the Chuck Wagon of the Y.O. Ranch in Mountain Home, Texas. Jimmy Schmidt is a bright star in the Denver restaurant scene. His classy rattlesnake club has, in less than two years, become a showcase operation. Chef Schmidt began his studies in Avignon, France. At that time, he worked with TV teacher Madeline Kamen and later ran her Boston restaurant. From there to the London Chop House in Detroit, where he made serious waves with the national food press. His appetizer is an inventive application of a unique New Mexican product, blue cornmeal blini. We're going to start off by working with the salmon and the blini. Start by adding the milk, the sugar, and the dry yeast together, just by whisking in a bowl. We'll just let this ferment for a couple of minutes. The blini batter begins with 3 eighths cup milk warmed to 110 degrees, two teaspoons sugar, and one package dry yeast. Now as the yeast mixture develops a foam on it, and the yeast has actually started to ferment, at this point, you can add your flour, slowly mixing it in very well. One fourth cup each of all-purpose flour and blue cornmeal are added. and your blue, blue corn meal. One fourth cup yellow corn meal will substitute. An egg yolk and two tablespoons room temperature unsalted butter are beaten and will be combined with the blue corn meal batter. We then add the blue corn mixture. into the butter and the egg yolk. At this point, after it's combined, it should fall very easily from your beater. Two egg whites are whipped with one fourth teaspoon cream of tartar to soft peaks. Note the use of a copper insert in the mixing bowl, which chemically enhances the process. The soft peak form. And the weight of a egg should lightly sink into the egg whites in order to test it. Add the egg whites into the batter mixture. And fold the egg whites in. Watch the chef's folding technique, bringing the batter up and over the egg whites. Reserve this mixture at room temperature. For the sour cream garnish for the smoked salmon, you combine the sour cream and the boucheron cheese together. One fourth cup mild goat cheese is combined with three fourths cup sour cream. And whisk them to it's very smooth. At the point that it's very smooth, and well mixed, 
You can add lime juice. and jalapeno pepper to your own taste. If you like it really hot, add the complete jalapeno pepper. If not, add less, according to your own taste. The bellini is cooked in hot butter. A nonstick pan is helpful. Add your bellini batter. Continue cooking over medium-high heat. Cooking until golden on one side, then flipping it over. Cooking it for just a couple more minutes to... It's a little firm. And just position the bellini on your serving plate. The final presentation includes diced red and yellow bell pepper, chopped onion, fresh cilantro, and chives. Also, thinly sliced smoked salmon. Scotch, smoked salmon. Form the salmon into a circle. center of the bellini. Great. There's a road headed to the west And it's calling me back again There's a pale blue sky and a north sunset And a place I can't forget You go down home when the sun goes low Head off the highway to a painted western sky Walk down a worn path through the back door Cooking in the kitchen and the kettle is warm Then you sit down Yeah.